Hello guys and welcome to the video. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to get the current page URL in WordPress. Okay, so I'm going to show you how to get the current page URL using PHP. Um, if you're a developer and you want to get the URL of a current page or any page at all in WordPress. In this tutorial, I'm going to share with you some code snippet that you can use to do that um, in your theme editor. So I'm going to leave a link in the description to this article so you can use this as a guide when you're trying to do this. So I'm just going to scroll down to the point. So this is the first code here. This works with um, any WordPress sites. So let's just test this out and see if it works. So just copy this code snippet here and you go over to your theme. So any of these uh, pages, wherever you want to assess, the current page URL from you can just open that. So we're going to be doing this via the header.php file just for testing purposes. So I'm going to paste in the code and I'm going to zoom in to my browser a bit so you can see this properly. So uh, what this does, it, it gets the home URL and adds all the arguments uh, after the home URL. So I'm going to echo this so we can see that it works. And I'm going to copy this code here and okay. So let's update the file and see if it works on the front end. So I'm going to go over here to the website and refresh. And now you can see the current page URL is being uh, printed out here. If I go to another page, you also see the current page URL is also being printed here. So you can use this. Uh, code to do different things. So if you need the current URL for your code or your logic, uh, you can use this code snippet. Uh, you can also use this uh, other code snippet if you just want the slug. Okay, so if you just want just this part here, you don't want the home URL to be added, you can use this second code. So let's go ahead and test it out. Also, I'm going to copy this and paste over here. And I'm going to change this variable. So let's update the file and refresh this page to see if it works. Okay, so now as you can see, the only the slug is being shown. So this definitely works. Um, this you can also add a function. So if you don't want to add this individual code every time, you can just make a function for this. Uh, you can copy and paste this here on your WordPress functions.php file. So you can add this to your functions.php file and call it anywhere in your, um, in any of the templates to assess the current page URL, okay? So the only disadvantage of using this method is you always have to escape the URL. So you have to use this function, else your site might be vulnerable to cross-site scripting. So make sure whenever you're using the returned uh output from this function you're always adding the escape url to get rid of any cross site script okay um, so this is an example of how you would use the function so if you add this function to your uh, function of pp file this is an example of how you use the function so you just copy and paste this code and it's going to be able to echo in the function um, based on the function here okay so some bonus contents here uh these are just some php uh specific uh templates so if you want to get the permalink that's the url of a, the page.php template file or single.php file you can use this method uh, this is just specific for this um PHP templates. Same thing for categories, any taxonomy based concept, you can use this. And for auto archives, you can use this. So auto.php, you can use it to get the current URL. Okay. So these are just different variations, but if none of these work, you can just go back and use this uh, first one here. Okay.
and this is used for getting the home URL so just for the home URL so that's basically it for getting the current URL of a page on WordPress it's very easy you can use any of these codes and customize to work with your existing logic so I hope you guys found this video useful if you have any questions about this video you can leave a comment in the comment section below and you can subscribe to our channel for more content with everything covered in this video i'll see you guys in the next one